seem to be one of uh, quite a few people online who um, I'm slightly disappointed at the result um, of the main event at UFC 104. Um, it saw uh, Loyota fight uh, Rua. And um, I have to say, I'm not really uh, a, a fan of either, particularly. Uh, Loyota has, of course, been accused of being quite boring in the past. He kind of dances around, doesn't do much, but, uh, you know, he's a, he, he has, in times past, been quite a counter-puncher, and um, he will hit you with one or two of those, perhaps, in the whole, uh, the whole time, the whole round, uh, the whole match, even, and uh, one of those will knock you out. That sort of thing. Um, he's got a great amount of mystique over him because he is 15 and 0, uh, which means he has never lost. Um, in fact, up until yesterday, they were going harping on about the fact they thought he'd never lost a round. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about that because I do remember him fighting Tito Ortiz, which I thought was dreadful uh, until the, the last moment. Credit where credit's due, I found that he was not um, at all boring last night. Um, I might have disagreed with the result, as I think a lot of people have. Uh, that's not to say that I, I didn't, um, I'm biased in any way. As I say, I'm not particularly a fan of either, and if you check my uh, predictions video, you will find that I clearly said I thought Loyota uh, would win probably in the first or second round actually went all the way to decision. Um, Rua clearly, in my opinion, won three rounds, quite clearly. Um, you could possibly say he won four rounds. Um, it didn't, he didn't finish. Uh, it was done mostly by um, uh, leg kicks, so there wasn't the combination of uh, punches and strikes that you did see from Loyota, but Loyota was always on the defensive, he was always moving backwards. Um, I, I just felt that uh, he pretty much got beaten. I don't think you can quite say dominated, uh, but he, it certainly made him look um, not so good in the stand-up department, and of course it never, never went to the round, to the best of my knowledge, I can't really remember. Um, <laughs> uh, Clearly, uh, the commentators and almost everybody I've spoken to online, uh, even people who are Loyota fans, believe that Rua should have won that uh, match. The judges gave it to uh, Loyota, which even surprised him, uh, and they didn't even say it was a split decision. Now, I've heard arguments that say, you know, if you want to be the champion, you have to actually beat the champion. It has to be not just a decision victory, but a, a, a really big decision victory. I think it was close enough a decision victory to um, take away the title, even under those grounds. Uh, the thing you have here is that, of course, if you go back to the Rampage and Forrest Griffin match, that one was, um, I think it was more obvious that the belt should have changed hands last night than then. Uh, of course, that was somewhere else, and another set of judges, and, you know, um, it was, uh, the, the belt changed hands. Uh, last night it did not, and I have to say that uh, this always happens when the UFC go to California. Um, I don't care what they say about Armando Garcia going. Obviously, the root of the corruption um, within the Californian State Athletic Commission is still there. Because there is no way that you couldn't have seen that at least as a split decision. There has to be at least one of the three judges who saw what everybody else saw. And I mean, this isn't like, you know, um, a disagreement where you have uh, a lot of people on both sides. There are very, very, very few people, um, including both fighters, including uh, Dana White, who has given an immediate rematch, although... Um, I should go into why that's unfair later. Um, uh, including the commentators, everybody thought that Rua should have won the match. Um, so it, it's disappointing. Uh, and that's really all there is to say about it. He will get a rematch. But you see, now he's fighting somebody who is extremely good uh, 
at working out what his opponent is going to do, and he's seen Rua fighting for 25 minutes, so he knows what's coming. Um, so rematch or not, it's not really fair. Um, apart from that, aside from that, I did very well in my predictions indeed. Uh, Sucker Punch didn't do so well. They went 1-3 uh, um, losing. Razak lost, Rothwell lost, and so did Eric Schaefer, unfortunately. Uh, Pat Barry, on the other hand, won, and he, um, he, he just did exactly what my prediction said, so um, well, that was fantastic. I also got quite a lot of the uh, the decisions, you know, the Sonnen decision. Um, I think there were there were two other decisions that I said would happen, and they both happened. So I didn't do too badly at all. And you have to remember that I'm not really a fan of either. I am just annoyed by the injustice of it. Um, and I think, you know, here is another person who has been crushed by the um, inequality and the the, the just the horribleness that comes out of California towards uh, mixed martial arts, and I think it's a, a pity. And that's really my recap video.